Welcome to this video about FPOD error risk estimates. So when the um, kernel F classifier runs to generate an FP3 file with trains in it from the FP1 file with the raw data, it also generates an assessment of how accurate its um, identification of citations is likely to have been in the whole of the file. Um, and th this is written into the file, so you can look at it very quickly at any time. And this is to show you how to do that. Um, so you you access these error risks by going to the filters and files page. And here you've got classification warnings from open FPOD files. Well, actually... There aren't any files open at the moment, but if you've got one open, well, let's just open the file set quickly. Um, and then um, we can look at it. If we look at it for file two, it says can't do it because it's not an FP3. Look at it for file three. It says the warnings report for this file should be updated. See the trains page of the menu. Okay. So. You can also look at it for other F files. So that will be um, a whole list. So let's let's try that. So here's a big bunch of files, FP1s and FP3s. It's only FP3s that have got this, but I'm just going to select the whole lot and see what happens. Um, Results are on the clipboard. Use Control V to paste into a spreadsheet. Okay, let's get a spreadsheet going. Um, control and V. Okay, so at the top we've got a list of what the different warnings are, and then we've got a list of um, files, and it says this one needs up. Dated warnings report. See trains page of the menu. Okay. So on the trains page, we've got update FP3 version. Um, and we've got generate, find landmark suite, generate version 2 file warnings. That's the one we want. Do I wish to search directories? Um, no, I'll just look at this one directory. So I just select all those files again. And um, it's going through and revising these warnings. So it doesn't have to run the kernel classifier again. It's done it. OK. So now we can go back here and do uh, classification warnings. I'll oh, put the list on the clipboard. And we select all these files again. Um, and it's read them all, put the results on the clipboard, use Control and V, same as before, to put it in the spreadsheet. So um, I just delete the old ones and put the new ones in. So now we don't have any of those lines saying this file's got the older version. So the, these are the warnings. Number 12 is the summed risk. Um, and it says three or four, risk of three or four require evaluation. Five or six, like these are really bad. They need special handling. <laughs> Seven and above are likely highly mi misleading. Okay, so let, let's just, that's that's that column there, but it tells us what each of these uh, columns are. So this one is the, the Kerno F um, version um, that was used. This is the risks version. So these should all be, all be two now. So if we just scroll it. They're all two. We, we just did that. So this is the kind of interesting one. Like, have we got any really bad files here? 
So what I'm going to do there actually is just graph that. Okay, so there are some that have got very high ratings. So I'll just sort those A to Z or maybe sort Z to A. Um, okay, and here's the, the name of the file. Um, so it said here three or four require evaluation. So it's basically telling us about half these files need um, looking at just to check them out. Five or six, that's um, this small group here, they, they need, probably require special handling, um, maybe filtering out bad stuff. Seven or eight are likely highly misleading. Okay, so we can look at this one, which is highly misleading. So where is its risks? Number two, excess fast unclassified trains, a risk of what? Weak unknown train sources. Um, number three also is a risk of what? Um, number four, it's got too many very slow porpoise click trains. They could be sonars. Number f number six, NBH NBHF modal kilohertz is far from the target value. So that's to say the clicks that are being identified as porpoises are quite atypical. Um, then there's a problem with the rate of uh, fast dolphin trains, etc. So you, you can read through and it tells you what they all are. So, I mean, I have looked at this file. I know what it is. It's got very few citations um, and um, no, no porpoises, actually. And, the, um, and it's got quite a few weak unknown train sources. And this is actually the first place weak unknown train sources were ever uh, identified. Um, so it is correctly flagging this up as needing a close look. Okay, so this is, um, well, we, we could just open this, um, copy that, um, go back to FProduct, files, open a file set, paste that name in. Um, Okay, so it didn't find the FP1, that doesn't matter. Um, we've got the FP3. So if we do here, classification warnings for file one, and then it's just listing all those things we just saw, and it's telling us there are eight file warnings. So you can do this very quickly for any individual file or even all the open f files if you've got several of them so um i'd really encourage you to routinely look at this to export this whole list make sure you you've picked up on the uh, the dangerous files um the the earlier version of this was far too risk averse almost every file was coming out as like whoa <laughs> be careful with this one this is actually now quite reasonable and um, very useful. Okay, thanks for listening.